BFTB. Best fight the best. So, I just I watched um, the Wilder Fury 2, you know, their, uh, their video. And the, version 1, the, the, pre, the pre-fight shit. saw that Tyson Fury um, you know he's learning that, 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 that his new trainer is showing him how to how to sit on his punches better because they're you know they're talking about trying to knock Deontay Wilder out you know trying to get him out there so to get him out so they don't have to worry about any decisions blah 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 yada 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 that's what they're trying to do um, you know and they were talking about how uh, mo- most of the video was like, um, most of the video was, you know, just about them going to, go going different places, you know, and, and, you know, just where they're at and blah, blah, blah. And that's okay. You know, that's good, um, you know, for, for hyping it up, I guess, a little bit. But not for a, a boxing fan like myself. Um, a boxing fan like myself my focus is entirely on the fighting entirely uh, in any aspect of fighting is what my focus automatically gets locked on in that in this um, in this um, in this um, this promo, whatever you want to call it, right, in this promo, um, the things that stood out to me was how a Fury's trainer, Fury's trainer, trying to prepare him, show him how to punch, you know, they got... Um, and it was early on in the in the in the, the video. It was very early on. I didn't have to I didn't have to look uh, much. I didn't have to look much. I didn't have to watch much for me to get exactly what I need to get out of this video. Tyson Fury is coming into this fight um, at a flaw. He's coming in at a flaw. He's coming in one down. And let me explain. If Tyson Fury and his fans claim that he beat Deontay Wilder, then they would not need to go for the knockout. The narrative of, oh, well, Tyson Fury really won. He outboxed him. Blah, blah, blah. That that narrative is already there. So if you already have that narrative, then all you need to do is hone the skills you already possess. Hone those skills. I mean, Tyson Fury is on record already when you're talking about, um, you know, when he had Ben Davison and Blah blah blah. He's on. He's on record saying he doesn't need somebody to train him. He knows how to fight. He doesn't need somebody to train him. So, why are you getting bringing in the trainer? Then? If you don't need nobody to fight you, you nobody to train you. You already. You know how to fight. You know how to do the, everything. You know how to do it all already. He's on record saying this. So why are you bringing in the trainer? If you know how to do everything, why are you bringing in a trainer? And the trainer says, we're not going to have, you know, Fury says, and the trainer says, we're not going to have cameras in. We're not going to have all this is serious. You know, we're not going to have all this stuff because we are learning how to punch. You're learning how to punch. Tyson Fury is learning how to punch. That's what they say. He's learning how to punch.
Let's go into this. Y'all, any anybody that has has um, watched me knows that I said, um, if you read a book of boxing, at the end of the book is going to be a picture of Luis Ortiz and Tyson Fury. Anybody that has watched me when I'm speaking about heavyweights has heard me say this. If you read a book of boxing, at the end of the book is going to be Lewis Ortiz and Tyson Fury. And the only reason why Tyson Fury will be um, after Lewis Ortiz is because he's six foot nine. That's the only reason why. But they are bringing in people to teach Tyson Fury how to punch. Uh, let, let, you gotta understand this concept of teaching Fury how to punch. Fury is coming into this fight already at a loss. He is coming into this fight and he does not know how to punch. That's what they said. They're teaching him how to punch to sit on his punches to get a fighter out of there. To knock Wilder out. Teaching him how to punch. Deontay Wilder already knows how to punch. You know, the flaw that people say about Deontay Wilder is he he's he can't he can't box for shit. He can't box. He can't box. You can be taught to box. That's why there is a book of boxing. Because you can be taught to box. You either are a puncher or you are not. But they are teaching Tyson Fury something that he is not. Tyson Fury is not a puncher. But they are teaching him to be a puncher. You cannot be taught to be a puncher. You either are a puncher or you are not. You're either born a puncher or you are not. You're not taught to be something that you're not born with. It doesn't work that way, homie. So Tyson Fury is coming into this fight already at a loss. He's coming in at a loss. He's coming in one down. One down. That's what he's coming into this fight, one down. He is trying. He don't want no cameras around, so oh, he wants to be serious. So... But you were serious the first time. Oh, and you have Bob Arum. Oh, well, he's gonna Tyson Fury's gonna knock Wilder out in five to six rounds. What? What? Oh, I know where he was at. And bro, you fought. You fought out of Wallen. You fought Pianetta. You fought Twats. Come on, bro. And those are supposed to get you prepared. Those fighters who are not punchers, none of them, are going to get you prepared for a puncher. Deontay Wilder is coming to this fight one up, two up. He's already a puncher. He's already a puncher. Deontay Wilder has always been a puncher. That's one. Two, he can be trained how to box. You know, you guys say he can't box. He can box. He has a bronze medal. You don't get a bronze medal for not being able to box. Having a bronze medal means you are the third best boxer in the world. Tyson Fury does not have one of those. Tyson Fury does not have a medal at all. At all. He has no medal. Tyson Fury has, has no Olympic pedigree at all. But mysteriously, Tyson Fury is the boxer. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Deontay Wilder is coming into this fight knowing that he knocked Fury out. Knowing it. He knows that. He knows Fury was knocked out. He knows that. 
Tyson Fury is coming to this fight thinking he outboxed Deontay Wilder. Oh, but the fans. But the judges didn't. The fans, the fans said, but the judges, the most experienced judge out of all of them. I cannot emphasize this enough. The most experienced judge, the judge that had more, that had reffed more rounds, right? The judge that had reffed more rounds than any one of the judges had Deontay Wilder beating you. All right, the judge with the most, the judge who reffed the most, not ref, but the judge that judged the most fights, the most boxing matches, had Deontay Wilder beating you. That was the American judge. The British judge, the British judge had it a draw. The British judge, the one that you brought in, had the draw. The one that you brought in so that you could have a fair shake, had it a draw. The neutral ref is the one that saved you. The neutral ref is the ref that refed the least amount of fights. <laughs> the neutral ref refed the least amount of fights. He saved you. He had you winning by, I think, a round. He had you winning by one round. The judge that you brought in, the British judge, had it a draw. The American judge had Wilder winning by two or three rounds. The American judge, the one that has a thousand, over a thousand fights. He has judged over a thousand fights. Had Deontay beating you by two rounds. The judge that had, I think like 300, was a neutral judge, had you beating Deontay by a round. Then the judge that you brought in, that had more, that had about three, a, a little bit, 300 plus more, uh, 300 um, uh, fights, a little bit more than a neutral run, he had you and Wilder to a draw. He is the one. If if that would have been anybody else, you lo you lost that fight. There is no rematch. You lost. So now you are being trained, taught how to punch. A fighter who is in the book of boxing, the best boxer on the planet. Because he's a heavyweight, he's six foot nine. You've been doing it your whole life. You're a fighting man. But you need to be taught how to punch. You need to be taught something that you're either born with or you're not. Well, Deontay Wilder was born with it. Deontay Wilder has the easier road. He's born with power. He punches through you. He knocked you out already. In the last round. And then they say, oh, well, BFTB, but he got up. Of course he got up. He wasn't dead. Kovalev got knocked out, but he got up. Spilka got knocked out. He fought again. Sergey Lahovich got knocked out. He got up. Pedraza got knocked out. He got up. I mean, we can go down the line of fighters that got knocked out. Roy Jones got knocked out. He got up. Luis Ortiz got knocked out. He got up. Victor Ortiz got knocked out. He got up. Manny Pacquiao. Got knocked out by JMM. He got up. No, but he got up though. Yeah, of course he got up. He ain't dead. Of course he got up. But by the rules, he was knocked out. 
So a fighter who was born with God-gifted power, destructive power, who by his own admission didn't do what he was supposed to do in the first fight. And then in this, when he fought Ty, uh, uh, Louis Ortiz in the second fight, showed you his patience, his dominance, his, his, his ring IQ, and his strength when a straight shot knocked Ortiz out. Not a windmill, none of that. A straight shot put him to sleep. That, that Louis Ortiz, who was also in the book of boxing, at the end of the book of boxing, and if there was no Tyson Fury, it would be Louis Ortiz. He said he didn't see the punch coming. He said he thought he was winning the fight. He didn't see the punch. And before he knew it, the fight was over with. Tyson Fury, you're in trouble. And you know you're in trouble. Where's all the Batman suits? Now, all of a sudden, you don't want cameras in your... It's ser it's a serious training camp now. There's been cameras in all your training camps. Every one of them, to include Vladimir Klitschko. But you don't want cameras in this one? But I thought Wilder's a bum. I thought he's the worst boxer on the planet. He's the worst heavyweight champion in the history of boxing. A big dosa. But you don't want people seeing what you do. But you are the great Tyson Fury. The most skilled, special heavyweight on the planet. You beat him the first time. Why do you need a surprise the second? You're in trouble. You don't want to fight. You backed yourself into this corner. If Tyson Fury had it his way... He'd be fighting Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. He would take the moral victory and roll out. There's no way he'd be fighting Deontay White. He'd take the moral victory and dip. Be fighting Anthony Joshua, beat Anthony Joshua, which he will. Claimed he's he's got all his belts back. He's a real champion. I have all the belts. When none of those belts, none of them, not one, were tied to Lennox Lewis, so they don't mean shit. Yeah, Lennox Lewis held them, but Lennox Lewis was also stripped of them. He was not stripped of the WBC, the one that Wilder has. He didn't care for the WBO. He said, fuck that belt. The champion is holding it. The guy that's holding it is no challenge to me. He can keep the trinket. But Fury, if he had it his way, would fight Anthony Joshua, get the belts that he never lost, beat Dillian White, and retire. And then say, well, I beat everybody. Everybody knows I beat I beat Deontay Wilder. Everybody knows. But he signed that big-ass deal with ESPN, and they want their pound of flesh. <laughs> and they're going to get it. Tyson Fury's getting knocked out. Do not be surprised if Tyson Fury gets outboxed and then knocked out. Do not be surprised. Do not be surprised if Tyson Fury gets outboxed and he is down on the scorecards. And must knock Wilder out to win. And then gets knocked out. Do not be surprised. Don't be surprised. Because this is not the Tyson Fury that we're used to seeing. He is out of character. He's out of himself. No fun and gaming. No clowning and joking. None of that. No Batman suits, no Halloween costumes, no running around naked trying to kiss grown men. He's, he's trying to be as serious as he can because he knows he's in with the real killer. He didn't do this shit with Vladimir Klitschko or nobody else for that matter. He's going to sleep badly. And like I said, don't be surprised if he gets outboxed first.
BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.